Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be making Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Let's get started. Hi. Oh, how? Lilo and Stitch came out a little bit after the time in my childhood where I watched every Disney movie that came out, but it was one that my younger brother and sister watched a lot, so I ended up seeing it and I enjoyed it a lot. My brother actually used to run around making us laugh by saying, ah, like Stitch. It was such a unique movie in a lot of ways. It had so much heart in unexpected places for me, especially in the beginning since Stitch was almost a villainous character, but we quickly start to realize that he was just confused and misunderstood. And as a 13-year-old nerd who lived in a town where football was everything, that was something that I could relate to. And Stitch exhibited some very dog-like behaviors in some of the most touching parts of the movie. And to this day, I still attribute part of why I love dogs so much to Stitch and why I've always treated my dogs not as pets, but as part of the family. Ohana means family. Family means nobody, nobody gets left behind. Or forgotten. Yeah. So with all that in mind, I knew I had to do this model justice. There were so many different options for ways to portray Stitch. He has the alien form with antenna and four arms. He has the ravenous and evil look, and he has the fun-loving and wondrous look. I chose that last option because those were my favorite parts of the movie, and as for the pose specifically, there's one picture online I went off for this model, and I think it accurately shows the classic stitch that I love, and it's more of a dynamic pose than just sitting or standing. And I figured I'd throw in some fun facts about Lilo and Stitch. This movie was one of a few Disney movies that was an original story and not an adaptation of a classic tale. Stitch, as a character, was originally created as a pitch for a children's book in 1985 by a man named Chris Sanders. Also, the original story had Stitch landing in Kansas instead of Hawaii, which I found interesting since I live nearby in Nebraska, but it was changed because Hawaii fit the plot better and was more interesting. Go figure. So to wrap this up, Stitch has always been an interesting character to me, and interesting beyond the movie, because there hasn't been a film in the series since 2006. And even in 2017, you can't go into a Disney shop or store without seeing a whole area devoted to Stitch. So given that he was one of my favorite characters and obviously has a place in the hearts of a lot of people of all ages, I was very happy to be able to bring him to life, and I hope I've done him justice. Alright guys, well there you have it. This is Stitch, and I'm actually pretty proud of this thing. It's by far one of the most daunting and difficult models that I've made in ZBrush. And I actually did it in one sitting. It took about six hours, but um, I had the time and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get this thing done because I know that if I were to stop in the middle of it, it would be hard to come back and finish it because there's sort of a period when I'm modeling, it's somewhere in the middle um, where I just, I don't think I can do it. And so if I stop during that period, it's very, very hard to come back to the model because I'm discouraged about it. Um, and where this one was so difficult, uh, I just decided to just do it. And I actually did um, have sort of a crisis towards the beginning of it when um, I had him modeled standing up just so I could keep symmetry on. Uh, it was pretty tough to sort of see the shapes and where they needed to go, but once I, I think it was about the time that I got his ears on there, I could really start to see the shape a bit better, and from there it got a bit easier, and I was actually able to complete it, so I'm pretty proud of this, and Chelsea did an amazing job, like she always does, but she actually went above and beyond for this one, and sanded the ever-living crap out of it, you can see in the footage right before this. And we actually decided to um, put the footage in there of her sanding and stuff like that. We don't usually do that, but um, it, she sanded this one a ton. And I think it really shows in this model. Now, um, at the end of these videos, sometimes I put them up on the shelf so they can take their place. But this one is actually not going to have a home on our shelf. One of Chelsea's cousins, his name is Matt. I know he watches these occasionally, so hi Matt if you're watching. He actually just graduated from high school and um, Stitch is one of his favorite characters. So we will be giving this Stitch model to him. So congratulations, Matt, and I hope you like it. All right, guys, well, if you want to see the full modeling video or the full painting video so you can see um, what we did in specific areas, links to those are down in the description, as well as the files if you want to download this and print one for yourself. 
And there are also Amazon affiliate links down there to all of the equipment that we use um, because we get questions a lot on what like specific airbrush Chelsea uses and the paints that she uses. So those links are down there and if you have a question about anything else that we don't list there, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to um, point you in the right direction. Okay guys, well thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you liked this, maybe you'd like to see some of the other Disney characters that I've made. In the top video right over here, you can actually see uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip right behind me. And right below that is another one of my modeling videos. So click on one of those if you want to see more. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, keep creating.